This worksheet about energy resources is super important for our world. Basically, for too long we've relied on non-renewable sources like coal, oil and gas, and also to some extent nuclear fission, which is using uranium in nuclear reactors. We're trying to move towards more sustainable renewable energy sources, and here are some of the main ones listed. Now the thing is that the problem with um, conventional power stations is that they're burning stuff all the time to heat up water. And this hot water turns to steam, which turns a turbine, causing a gener generator to rotate, which then induces a potential difference and therefore an electric current. And the problem with these is that they're burning stuff, which releases a lot of CO2, which is really bad for the environment. There are some advantages, though. If you have a gas-powered uh, power station, then you can rapidly turn the gas on, you can light it, it can very quickly start the water boiling, which means that you can then start generating electricity exactly when you have that increased demand. But again, the problem is a lot of CO2 and other greenhouse gases are being emitted and eventually these are going to run out. However, we can use nuclear power stations. They're great because they're not burning something. The problem is it's really hard to dispose of their waste, which might be radioactive for hundreds of thousands of years. And if there are nuclear incidents, like at Chernobyl or Fukushima, then that really does affect a lot of people living nearby who can't go back to their homes for many, many years. But wind turbines are brilliant, and it's their rotating blades. Um, it's the wind pushing the blades, which then causes the generator to start generating electricity. But the problem with solar panels, and also wind, is that they don't work all the time. We don't we can't use solar power at night because there's no sunshine. And if it's a still day, or even if it's actually too windy, and it's too windy for the wind turbines to work, we can't generate electricity. So they don't work reliably all the time. But the cost is getting cheaper, and these are going to be so much more useful in the future. We also have hydroelectric power, and this is where you pump water up to maybe a reservoir at the top of a hill. And when you need the electricity, what you can do is just let the water run down pipes through the turbines at the power station at the bottom of the hill, and that means it's very quick to generate electricity when you need it. And when you're not needing electricity, you can just use those pumps to basically use the electricity which is surplus in the grid to pump water back up to the top. The problem is, though, you can't build them everywhere because you need to have a, 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 the, the right kind of mountain. So things like hydroelectricity can only be used in certain locations, and that's the same with geothermal, where we're looking at tunnelling underground, pumping down cold water which gets heated up by the heat of the earth. Now, wave power tidal are two different things. They're both using the sea, but wave power can be used all the time because there's always waves, and what we often have is something where small turbines are being pushed by the wave power to generate electricity. Tidal is much bigger in scale, and as the tide comes in, maybe once or twice a day, it goes into a river estuary, we kind of stop it coming out, and then we let it out in a controlled manner when we want to actually get the electricity from it. So, tidal, um, it can only be built in certain locations, and what we do, we hold the, the high tide back from the sea, and we let it out in order to turn turbines, which cause generators to turn to then generate electricity. The problem with tidal power is that we're changing the local habitat the habitat. Things might be flooded and where lots of maybe seabirds normally nest, that land is um, changed, has changed its use. And that's going to have a big effect on the local habitat and the local environment where these, where the wildlife lives. However, is it worth it if we're maybe going to be generating lots of CO2 if we went back to conventional power stations? It might be that the risk to this is less than the risk to the whole planet. Who knows? So this is the thing. A lot of these ways of generating electricity, they have pros and cons. There are lots of positive aspects to conventional non-renewable energy, and there are some downsides. But I think in the future, we're going to be getting rid of coal, of oil, and we're going to be going a lot more to solar and wind to actually power our planet.